My last video, I showed you how to install Open PHT Plex Home Theater. Uh, this one is installed on my little uh, M-Logic stick that's probably three or four years old. I brought it out of retirement just for testing purposes to see how it worked. Um, so now I'll show you a little demo of what it looks like. But again, this is a port like uh, uh, Libre ELEC, which is a, a specialized Linux uh, graphic program, video program. So this one put a different interface to it, a different face to it. So this is again a Plex Media Player. Okay, uh, movies. Again, these are movies that I own that I've ripped and put on my NASA's. Now, if you notice all these backdrops, what these come from is MB. MB Server creates these backdrops to use on their, their uh, uh, apps. So it's a pain in the butt for the other ones. All right, let's just pick one. Bruce Almighty. Okay, there's the information it gives you. Um, now, MB gives you a more detail like the characters and stuff like that, which this doesn't, at least that I can find from this app. Okay, there's where your audio track is. Uh, this should be your sub, sub, uh, subtitles. Uh, this one, trailers, trailers for room to lit. <laughs> anyway, star if you want to make it a star. And that, that uh, circle over here, if you notice in the right hand corner beside Bruce, what that means is uh, what has been watched or not. And if it's got the circle there, okay, so it shows that it's half watched now. If you look where it says Bruce Almighty, uh, if it's a partial orange block, that means it's a, uh, um, there's a pain in the butt. But anyway, this little box place starts up fast. It's surprisingly, it works well. But anyway, okay, now I'm back to where it, uh, it shows I have not watched it. Okay, all right, those are the movies. Kids movies, same thing. It loads pretty fast. Uh, again, these are movies that I own. So instead of me digging through stacks and stacks of DVDs that if I want to watch, I just go and uh, pull them up on my NAS and play it from there. It saves a lot of work. Okay, now TV recordings. Are, let's go to HD Home Run Recordings. Okay, you got uh, different strokes. Now those are recently added. So these are all my recordings. If you notice, it gives you uh, how many is recorded. Pardon, pawn stars, okay. Now, I can also sort them by recently aired on deck. List is empty. Recently added. Father knows best. I've been recording some of these older shows so that my grandkids can fight tooth and nail not to watch them, but I'm going to set them down and make sure that they watch them. Maybe that's cruel and inhumane, but <laughs> I don't know. But I want them to watch them. So anyway, back to where I was. And filter, it's got filter, unwatched, like sort by the actor. Adam West. Batman, okay. Collection, director, Jen Ray. I can start by Jen Ray.
for this or that work out, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, that's all the stuff that you can do to sort these with. Um, okay, so that's just what I wanted to show you that uh, what this looks like, what the interface looks like. Uh, now, one thing that uh, under preferences, you got a lot of preferences which I really haven't delved into it. Now one thing you will need to do is set up your uh, location under International. I always turn the screensaver mode, theme music, okay. So you got that. Um, and System Settings. Now this does not work. Click on System Settings and it brings you right back here. So uh, System Settings does not work. Control Pre-caching. Pre Okay, so that's, uh, so that's some of the stuff that you got. Channels, now this is where you would go in if you want to add more channels. Uh, I don't want to start bringing anything up. Okay. I was working yesterday, but anyway, it brings up the different add-ons. They call it add-ons, different add-ons you could port. So anyway, that's what I want to show you. All right, thank you.